do you know what time it is? Tell me, do you know? Do you know what time it is? Tell me, do you know? Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it's that time again. Time to take up another champion. This is gonna be a six star. And if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, let me know in the comments below. But it's an interesting choice. You might guess, you might not, but we're about to reveal it in five. Four, three, two, one. Thor Ragnarok. So, my history with Thor Ragnarok. Uh, as a five star, I hesitated, resisted, refused to rank him up because I didn't want to rank up a champion that was purely prestige. I wanted to rank up champions that had some use. Now, over time, I got my roster to the place where I had some good attack champions, good defense champions, and I needed to look more towards my prestige. So I took the five-star Thor Ragnarok up. I just recently pulled Thor Ragnarok. Now, he's still unawakened, as you can see, and I do have a skill awakening gem and a lot of sig stones. There's an, a skill advancement on right now. I could do that but I'm not going to. However, I do know that eventually I'm going to put those Sig Stones into him. I'm going to use the uh, Awakening Gem for Nick Fury, who doesn't need Sig Stones. He just needs to be awakened. Any more Sig Stones just increases the duration of, or it lengthens the degen time if that makes any sense. Basically, he's going to degen down to 30% of his health, and the higher his SIG, the longer that will take, okay? Um, but Thor Ragnarok, I would do that for prestige. So eventually, I'm going to take him to rank three, and I will awaken him at some point in time, and I'll put all those SIG stones. For now, those SIG stones are going to be saved for him. Or maybe Shang-Chi, if I ever pull a Shang-Chi. We'll have to see. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit before we get to the rank up. Uh, I wanted to let you guys see something. And I'm going to talk to you about RNG. Now, there's a skill advancement on right now. And I have seen that that's the worst time to open class catalyst crystals just seems to me now understand that it doesn't mean that it's going to happen every single time but it happens way more often at least to me and from what i've seen it happens this way to others you can judge for yourself so i didn't have enough tier four skill catalysts and i also had some four stars i wanted to take up as well so i needed some more skill catalysts, okay? I needed seven of them to take uh, Thor Ragnarok up, and I needed um, at least three to take up a four-star. So I opened up some of my uh, T4 class catalyst crystals, and I want to show you what happened. So here's what happened after I opened up 10. Do you see anything interesting about this batch of 10? Yeah. Okay. Don't have to say it, do I? Opened up 10. What did I get? And what did I not get? All right. Now, I'm going to open up 10 more. Hey, I got two skill. Look at the science. And we're going to come back to that in a moment. But look at the skill. So I open up 10 more. I still have two after 10 more. Look at the science. We'll get back to that. And 
Finally, I opened up 40 of them. And I finally got four. Look at the science. We'll get back to that. So now I'm looking at that and I'm like, you know what? Forget this. You know, I have enough to take him up and maybe one uh, skilled champion, right? All right, let's uh, close those down. Now, I'm going to show you the class wheel for Marvel Contest of Champions. Did you see how many science I got versus skill? This is skill advancement. Do you notice anything? It's the direct opposite to the skill. Is that significant? All right, let me level this guy up and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about RNG, okay? So first things first, let's get this guy up. He's now ranked two. All right, so. You hear folks talk about uh, RNG. RNG is not synonymous with randomness. People use it that way. You know, if you get some bad pulls or something like that, they say, well, that's just RNG. As if to say, that's just how random works. Sometimes you get good, sometimes you get bad. All right, as a programmer, and I have over 20 years of experience. I have implemented RNG. RNG stands for Random Number Generator, not randomness. What that means is that the programmers programmatically are trying to simulate randomness. That means that it is subject to bugs laws, unintended consequences. It's subject to having a bad implementation of a random number generator. And not all of the random number generators are created equal. All right. Uh, back in the day when I was in college, there was a, a game called, I believe it was iRobots. All right. There we go. He's ranked two. It was a game called iRobots, and it was a very simple game. Text, uh, all you had to do was you got to move one time, and then all of these other um, creatures or whatever, represented by letters, of course, uh, would just come after you. And you had to try to stay away. If any of them actually intersected with you, you died. So you were basically trying to move around, and the longer you could... Uh, stay away from them, the higher your score. But there was one feature called the teleport. You got to teleport randomly. So if you got yourself in a corner and there was no way out, you could use a teleport. And you had a limited number of times you could do that, okay? And I saw this game and I said, ooh, this would be fun to, to write myself. I think I could write this. So I did. The teleport was where I first started implementing random number generators. The built-in one, and this was for the C programming, C compiler, um, it was bad. It was really bad, okay? Uh, and you could tell because every time I hit the teleport, sometimes it would do what I would call clumping. During my testing, it would clump around a certain area. And then sometimes it would skip over here, skip over there, but then it would clump around. That wasn't good. I didn't want that. I wanted it to really simulate a random, and that didn't look random to me. So I started researching different random number generators and researching different um, formulas to feed the random number generator. You need a formula, uh, and, and to give you an idea, we call it a seed for the random number generator. Um, when I was doing a, a project, I used a seed with a, a number, just one. What happens when you use a constant like that? 
is that you get a set of random number gen uh, random numbers but then if you rerun the program you get the same set of random number uh random numbers okay we're not talking about true randomness this is a programmatic randomness it's pseudo random as we call it so if i don't use a good seed my random numbers are going to repeat and they're going to be not as good all right so from using the number, I said, all right, let me use time, you know, because time, you know, is is pretty uh, variable, right? But you know that the time happens twice a day. It's going to be the same time, right? So you're going to get those same numbers multiple times. So what you feed the random number generator is important, whatever formula that is. That formula can be flawed, okay? And there's no telling. I don't know what their implementation of the random number generator is, but I've seen a lot of clumping and I've seen things that would, as a programmer, make me investigate the random, the implementation of the random number generator. Now, I was curious, okay, because I don't usually memorize the, um, and let's bring this back here. I don't usually memorize the, um, Hold on. Yeah. Uh, I don't usually memorize the chart, even though I've been uh, playing for, for so many years. I don't usually memorize this. So I usually have to go back to it. And one of the hypotheses that I had was that the random number generator seems to be skewed. OK, you're still going to get some and you might be one of those who got tons of skill opening on a skill advancement. That does not disprove what I'm talking about, okay? That doesn't disprove it. So, you know, even if many people have no problem, if you have some people that seem to be stuck in this, it's flawed for them, okay? So I was curious. I was like, I just had a thought. I was like, okay, we have a skill advancement and I'm getting the least amount of skill, but I got the most amount of science. And I was like, wait a minute. And I couldn't remember. I said, let me go to the wheel. I'm just curious. And sure enough, it was the opposite of science on the wheel. Now, again, I don't know how they've implemented their random number generator. But these things are red flags to me. You know, there was a time where I kept getting the same one. Now, look at how many science I got. Now, if you've watched my openings, what champion did I keep getting in the featured? And what class was he? Now, think about this. What gem did I get? Two to three. I used it on that same uh, champion. I'm getting tons now. And you'll remember that I used to get tons of tech. Now I seem to be getting tons of science. That's what I'm talking about with clumping. Okay. You get clumped like that. I can promise you I can write a random number generator that doesn't do that. All right. But this is what I have observed. All right. Not saying that it's some malicious attempt by Kabam to, you know, deprive us of resources or anything like that. But as a programmer, I see things a little bit differently. And I've called on them to maybe investigate it. I don't know if they ever did. I don't know if they care to do anything, okay? Um, but if you're not a programmer, you're excused. You don't have to worry about the implementations of random number generators, or anything like that. Um, I understand if you just say, no, that's just random and this person or that person, they don't have that problem and all this stuff. I understand. OK, but like I said, if I were the one programming this and I saw this type of thing happening and I would have the data like they do. So I'd know how many times it happened for me. Even two times clumping like this would be bad for me because it results in a bad experience for the user. It might be random according to their implementation, but it's not a good experience. So right now 
I can expect for a while to get a lot of, of science resources, science rank up gems, science uh, awakening gems, science um, uh, 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 stones out of the crystals, six stones out of the crystals. I can expect to see a skewed amount for a little bit because that seems to be what happens. I got tech for the longest time. Before that, I got mystic for the longest time. And a lot of people just, you know, they accept that as random. But as a programmer, I'm looking a little bit deeper behind into the implementation of it. We can't do anything about it, but I just noticed that type of thing. OK, uh, but anyway, uh, I'm not going to show any uh, gameplay on Thor Ragnarok. I'm not really the biggest fan of his. Even after his rework, I'm just not the biggest fan of his. Um, he doesn't completely suck like he used to. But I'm still not the biggest fan, um, mainly because I have to get to a special three before uh, things start really looking decent for him. Uh, but for Prestige, I want you to see, um, let me show you my uh, resources here. So for, sk for skill, you see I have an Awakening Gem, but it's going to Nick Fury, not him. And let me see here. All right. So I have 71 skill uh, Sig Stones. But until I awaken Thor Ragnarok or awaken another skill champion that benefits from those Sig Stones, I'm not going to use them. They're definitely not going into uh, Nick Fury. All right. But that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. What do you think about my theory? Because that's all it is. It's just a theory, okay, um, based on my experience in the uh, programming world. It, it could very well be wrong, okay? Um, but I was just curious, especially if you're a programmer. What do you think? I'm very curious about those who have programmed, those who have maybe even implemented random number generators before. What do you think about this? All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.